Hey guys, and welcome to an Ark Survival Evolved video. It's been about two years, I think, since my last Ark video, and quite a few people over those years have said they would like to see more, so I am going to be posting some Ark content alongside the usual Conan content, along with, of course, playing Ark myself, maybe even on stream. Today, we are on the Crystal Isles, building a small base. I've been playing a good bit of single player lately, trying to relearn the game, so this base is designed for single player and maybe solo early to mid game PvE. This build is in the Southern Crystal Isles, at 82 latitude and 63 longitude. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with an exterior wall. I built a two foundation rectangle, onto which I'll later place the stone dinosaur gate frame, and then built pillars with ceilings to create the foundation for a wall around the base. I almost forgot how finicky foundations can be in Ark, it's one of those things I'm going to have to try and relearn. I then removed the majority of the pillars, and replaced them with foundations progressively, which worked well for the majority of the build, though I did have some issues towards the back, as the ground was just too high compared to where the ceiling was sat. I then built the walls two tiles high, mixing stone and wood for a primitive yet defensive look. Next for the interior structure. I used stone ceilings and pillars to build a simple 6x4 rectangle with a 2x3 extension at the front. I then built the walls up two tiles high for each floor, with this ground floor being the basement. I used the same material pattern as the walls, mixing stone and wood. These materials have always been a great combo for achieving a primitive look that isn't as ramshackle as wood or thatch, and tonally they complement each other quite well. After building the walls up two tiles high, I then constructed a staircase at the front of the build on the extension to reach the first floor, and then built stone ceilings atop those walls to create the ground of the first floor. I then used wooden spiral stairs to connect the floors together, though if you wanted to you could use ladders to save on space. Next for the first floor walls. I again built the walls two tiles high on this floor, placing two double doors at the front of the build to access the home. Along with building the walls two tiles high, I placed a four tile high spiral staircase in the middle of the build, which will lead up to a watchtower of sorts, to allow the player to use a spyglass to scout nearby dinos for taming. I built this tower quite high, I think 6 tiles high overall, so it will have a good point of view across the nearby area and be a useful part of the build.
Next, I place stone railings around the yard, adding staircases for ease of access. I then moved onto the roof, using wooden sloped sides to build up the gables, raising the walls accordingly, and then finally placing thatch sloped roof pieces to finish off the roof. Thatch roof pieces work really nicely with the stone and wood combination, to add just a little edge of a rustic and homely feeling to the base, and whilst wood or stone could also work, I think thatch is always a great choice if you're working on a build that doesn't necessarily need the defence of stone, metal or tech. I then finally placed an access ramp at the front of the build to allow dinos to enter the yard. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've placed spiked walls outside the build to defend against large carnivores, and lit the build with standing and wall torches. Entering the yard, there's more than enough room here for necessary features. Whilst you can't fit a Bronto or a Rex inside this yard, there's enough room for a few smaller utility tames and various important items like feeding troughs, crop plots and even a small Akatina pen. You could of course expand the yard if you need the room. Entering the build, the first floor is a storage and recreation area, definitely designed more for comfort. Whilst this floor does include some important features, such as the storage cabinets, the cooking pot and the preserving bins, it's also designed for aesthetics over practicality. Heading downstairs, this floor is much of the opposite. This build is designed to be somewhat primitive, so it doesn't have a fabricator, industrial grill, etc, but it does have the necessary items to be able to produce various resources and items needed for survival, and I think it's laid out in a pretty efficient way. Finally, the large watchtower provides some impressive views over the surroundings and is great for scouting potential tames. And there we have it, a small PvE or single player base in the Crystal Isles. Thanks for watching, it feels Almost odd to be playing Ark and making videos on it again after so long, but there's been plenty of new additions since I last played, and there's definitely some builds I'd want to construct for you guys. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, 
which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code EROSYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sodialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Velma, Shannara and Torn. If you're new here feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.